So this plant has quite a bit of lore to it. This is poison hemlock. Poison hemlock is not native to North America, but was brought over and has been and has naturalized. It wasn't brought over on purpose. It was accidentally introduced, um, and it is indeed one of uh, considered one of the most poisonous, if not the most poisonous, plant in North America. Uh, brought in again from Europe. Uh, this may have been the hemlock that did in uh, that did in the great philosopher Socrates. But um, how do you tell it apart? Well, first of all, it's the, it's got the typical umble of flowers which uh, you have in the in, in the carrot family and like most carrot family they're white flowers these umbels these flat topped collections of flowers make it a popular thing with small little uh, small pollinators especially beetles to to use um, but so it does have that and some people have gotten poisoned thinking it woods carrots but it doesn't smell anything like carrots and another big telling clue on this not just the sheer size we're looking this one's at least uh, five and a half six feet tall um, is the stem. See the spotted stem? And it's glaucous. The stuff rubs off. As you can see. So the stuff rubs off. But um, those spots and the rubbing off of that little layer is another uh, feature which can tell you that this is poison hemlock. So again, poison hemlock, uh, a, very, uh, a very toxic plant. Uh, poisonous one has been introduced into our area. Um, but, uh, but it's here to stay. I mean, it's, it's common in many edge and wayside uh, uh, west side areas and uh, the flowers may be small but they are appealing to a variety of very small pollinators so it usually gets decent pollination and spreads through it especially likes wet areas so finding it and here you can see we have an extra stream of course an extra stream but uh, again the umbels of flowers okay and most especially one big telling feature is the spotted stem poison hemlock